you know, it was right around the time you were pregnant with Jackson. And then we gave birth to Jackson in 2018. We gave when, birth to Jackson or I when, gave birth to Jackson? Listen, I was there at the head of the table holding, holding your hand. I am on the hook for as much pain and suffering as you are. Zip it. <laughs> I was eight centimeters dilated. That was my anus. It was just from the nerves. <laughs> I was turtle heading the whole time. You at least had whatever that numbing bullshit is. Yeah, how many pints of blood did you receive after... Oh my the god, dude! Out. It looked like a scene from Resident Evil. After that, oh that yeah, that was she. Had, she had a bit of a traumatic birth and lost a lot of blood and turned into an iron deficiency. And they released us from the hospital a little too early. And then, if I could just, I'm just going to summarize a story. Maybe some of you have heard it, but the first day we got home from the hospital, they were like debating whether to give you an iron infusion, right, or a blood, blood transfusion. Blood, yeah. Before you left, and they they asked you. They kind of left it up to me, which feels really. Not you Negligent, should leave it up to the patient. I was not in any state. I'm a nurse, and I was in no state of mind to make a decision like that. Right. All I could think about was getting home. That's all you wanted, and of course you were like, "No, I'm good." So right? I was like, "All right, send me home." So we get, and then that night we oh get God. home, and the and then the anemia kicked in, and we first day home from the hospital, first child, and she like can't even get out of bed because she's so weak. And I'm like, "Oh shit!" And like when you have a kid and you're in a hospital, like. It's a beautiful thing, obviously, but anytime there's a need that that child has, there's a nurse on call right there to help you get through it. You get home, you're on your own, motherfucker. Like, yeah, so so you being in bed, I kind of had to man up for that first night and the mm -hmm. next day, do the diaper changes. I was physically incapable. Yeah, yeah, do, help with the feedings and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it was a learning experience, and you ended up having to go back a few days later to get an iron infusion because it was it was taking you so long to recover, you still you barely could walk for a day. I could or not two. walk from the couch to the ba bathroom without being short of breath and dizzy. Yeah. So never mind, like yeah, carrying yeah. baby around because I was gonna drop it. Yeah. So it was not an exp It was not a good experience, even yes. though everything turned out okay. It, did. it was you, you it was got, rough. You got the infusion, and then after uh, over the course of the next day or two, you really started to improve. Once day? that, I, I mean, it took a couple weeks, but. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it was it started to improve, which was the the good part because it was just days of you yes. not improving at all. Yes. Anyways, all that was to say, you know, you had just had a kid. That's a that's a traumatic experience, and you know, it's an amazing experience, but traumatic, obviously for for a woman. And you know, I'm I'm running around with a camera, and then not but however many months later, obviously it's post pregnancy. We're dealing with the kid. Put on a little weight through the pregnancy, which is not unusual. And I'm like, hey, why don't you hop on camera with me and uh, we'll start chatting shit to the internet. And like, Wait, we have to, don't forget the fact that I also had to go back to work at this time too. Oh my too, God, so. that's right. Yeah, you, yeah. All right. I was not in the best shape before I had the baby. Yeah. I wasn't huge, but I was not in good shape at all. Had the baby put on 20 pounds during pregnancy, which truly isn't a lot during for a pregnancy. And considering Jackson was nine pounds of them. 20 pounds, yeah. no, 20 was, pounds isn't a whole lot. Yeah. It was really after him that I would say I blew up weight-wise. Like, I really did this lovely slow climb until I got to a point where I was so uncomfortable. Right. And that that's also not uncommon because obviously yeah. you have a child. Your lifestyle is going to change. Totally. All of, you know, the energy you had to take care of yourself previous to that child is now being spent on taking care of a child. Right. And going back to work um after maternity leave yeah. when i felt like crap most of my maternity leave i just felt so ill prepared to go back to work mm -hmm. and take on this i was in a big role at the time as you remember yeah i had a high stress job as a nurse manager and was taking on more responsibility as i came back from maternity leave yeah. and it just it all felt awful and then a couple months later, you were like, hey, let's start recording. <laughs> let's start recording videos together. So I'm like, you, I don't know what planet I'm on, so why not? You were a trooper. And I, I maybe, in hindsight, maybe I never gave you enough credit at the time, but want to commend you for, for being willing to do it. You know, at the time I told, like, I told you if, like, I'm not going to obviously, I'm never going to force you to do anything. If you really didn't want to, I would be like, no problem. We'll move on, which whatever. But, but you were willing to do it. And I, I'm so appreciative of that because I feel like over the years, we, it's, it, in a weird way, it's as much as it is sometimes like work and it's like, oh, I don't, I'm not in the mood to do this today. It is cool to weekly over the course of many years, just have this time when you sit down and, you know, try to laugh at things together. I, th I think it can't be overstated how not cool that is because we can make content out of it, but I think it's helped our relationship in a, in a weird way. Um, 
and I'm appreciative of that. If you enjoyed this clip, you can find full episodes of Decently Indecent on Storyfire linked in the description below. And be sure to subscribe here for more clips and episodes in the future. Thanks for watching.